Fans of the best-selling science fiction novel Ready Player One have been anxiously awaiting for Steven Spielberg's take on the story. In the movie, the fate of the world is tied to a virtual reality game, but for Spielberg, it's a chance to flex his use of CGI effects. Here's entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon with his... Ready Player One looks forward and backward, a vision of the future set to the music of the 1980s with cultural references to match. A quarter of a century from now, life is so grim, most people turn to virtual reality for relief. The magic of this movie is in how we get to share the hero's experience. Wade Watts, played by Ty Sheridan, lives in a stack of trailers and seeks refuge from his less than ideal circumstances in the Oasis as an avatar named Parsifal. The action moves back and forth between what is tangible and what isn't. Can you feel this? Um, yeah. The game's creator is played by Broadway star Mark Rylance. If you're watching this, I'm dead. I created a hidden object, an Easter egg. The first person to find the egg will inherit half a trillion dollars and total control of the oasis itself. A series of clues lead in stages to the egg. The suspense provided by a bad guy who wants to gain ultimate power. I mean, it's nothing less than a war for control of the future. And the war between his corporation and Wade's team, known as High Five, is where this movie goes from great to grandiose. Okay, Mr. Spielberg doesn't need me to tell him how to make his movies, but this one is at least a half hour too long. A classic case of more being considerably less. What started with so much promise becomes just a ho-hum standard Hollywood blockbuster after the first hour. Ready Player One really goes off the rails, Dave and Liz. Mm. This one's a heartbreaker for me because it begins with such promise. Wow.